Hey guys, Eric here at Asheville Vehicle Outfitters and today behind me we have our 2017 Tacoma TRD Sport and uh, this is our shop truck. It's a big part of what we do here because we're able to show you guys everything that we can do on Tacomas. Can't show everything but a lot of what we can do on these trucks and uh, today I'll give you a quick tour of, um, of the Tacoma. So follow me. We'll start under the hood. Uh, we have um, right now the vehicle's engine and everything hasn't nothing's been modified. Uh, we do have a Magnuson supercharger on the way soon for this, which is exciting. Um, on the uh, passenger side, we have a sleek compressor mount uh, with an ARB single high performance compressor. You could also easily mount a twin ARB compressor there as well. Um, at the time we had a single high performance, we threw it on. It's a great compressor for up to a 33 inch tire, but for, cus for customers with bigger tires or just want to inflate a lot quicker, a twin compressor is definitely the way to go. Right here, um, we have an off-grade engineering dual battery system. Um, this is their side-by-side -side system, which is uh, designed for the SR5 and non-TRD off-road trucks where the ABS system is in a different location. So in this truck, we have to have the batteries side by side and not on a split system, which you would have with a TRD off-road or TRD Pro and those kind of trucks. Um, the side-by-side -side system is still pretty cool. Um, you've got a Blue C battery link on top. This works automatically, but I also have a switch inside the cab that we can show you a little bit later too, that allows us to manually link these batteries. And when we're like winching, or uh, if the main battery dies, um, we could actually jumpstart the vehicle remotely uh, from the auxiliary battery where all of our accessories are wired to and, and actually start the car from there, which is cool. Uh, so this takes care of all of our power management. We do have a solar panel on the top of the canopy camper. Uh, that's a 126 watt sun flare solar panel. And um, that puts out about like on a day like today with really clear sky and lots of sun, about six amps which is great for our setup. We do have a fridge and everything we'll show you in the back, but our fridge is used around two to three amps. And then you have a few USB outlets and stuff back there. So we're not really charging laptops or have inverters in this truck. Some customers do, and we'll look at doubling that output on top. Um, but that is linked down through a solar controller, which comes back here, tops off the second battery. And this blue CACR for, um, that is part of the off-grid engineering kit will then actually start to reverse and charge the starting battery too, which is really neat. Uh, over here, I've got an S-Pod and that manages uh, controlling all of our accessories and stuff uh, that are that are on the vehicle, electrical accessories like LP9s on the front, an ARB compressor, front and rear lockers, that kind of stuff. And um, it cleans it up because I have one connection to the battery and then um, one wire goes inside the vehicle and we're able to connect um, all the switches. It, well, it's a switch switch panel. So instead of having all different sorts of switches mounted all over the car, um, we have a nice clean setup for switches. This is kind of an older setup for us. Now we use the uh, Bantam X from S-Pod with the touchscreen. It's even easier. It's one ethernet cable that runs inside the car uh, onto a touchscreen. We can dim lights, strobe lights, um, and rename accessories. We can see battery voltage, all sorts of stuff. On the very front of the vehicle, we have our ARV Summit front bumper. And uh, these things are, this is one of the best front bumpers that you can buy out there. The ARB bumper is a full width protection bumper um, that allows you to mount a lot of cool accessories. You can mount your winch, you can mount your lights. Up here, these are high lift mounts for a high lift on the top of the bar. Um, if you're looking for the most protection possible for the front of your vehicle, it's really hard to beat an ARB bumper because they're the, probably the best engineered bumper out there as, as far as being designed to protect the front of the bumper from an animal impact or something like that. Uh, but still be able to protect you in case of an accident uh, and still guarantee that your airbags are still gonna deploy properly. So that's what really kind of sets the ARB bumper apart from a lot of others out there. Um, there's a lot of other really good options for Tacomas. We have semi-hidden systems from Warren and some other, you know, you have smaller high clearance, lighter bumpers from like CBI and, and, and Victory. Um, but you know, everybody knows we love ARB here. And so we have a lot of cool ARB gear on these vehicles. We have the Baja Designs LP9s on the front. This is one of the best uh, round lights you can get uh, for these trucks or for any truck. Um, these throw light way down the road for you. They have a dual beam function so you can run just the flood or you can turn the whole light on. And it also has uh, peripheral lighting as well so it can shoot light out to the sides of the vehicle. We have a Warren winch here, um, Factor 55 flat link, um, ARB recovery point underneath and ARB skid plates. 
Um, and you know, the recovery point's important because you always need to be able to recover the vehicle safely uh, from, a, from a spot that you, know, you can pull at an angle, somebody can use a snatch strap to pull you out, or you can pull someone else out. So the ARB bars uh, don't have a built-in recovery point, so it was important for us to get that on there. And then skid plates, always nice to have, especially if you're doing a lot of wheeling with this truck, We're always doing a lot of trainings and stuff with this vehicle. Uh, it goes on trail rides every single month. We rent it out to a lot of our customers. So this vehicle sees a lot of action and stuff um, off, the, off the pavement. And so it's nice to be able to get it set up to where it can take you know, some, you know, some impacts on dirt and stuff like that and rocks underneath the vehicle and, and not you know, damage the vehicle. Um, we got a ARB um, Safari snorkel on the side of this truck. Um, of course, this this is a, a snorkel, so it can protect you from uh, you know taking on water into the motor uh, on some water crossings or hydrolocking your motor. But we don't really do a lot of that, truthfully, where we're putting the vehicle in situations where we're crossing through a lot of deep water. Um, so what it does is you know basically. Uh, relocating your intake up uh, up here so you get cleaner colder air up top and it is you know charging your your air box and it uh, the, these new uh, AR max Safari snorkels uh, will provide more airflow to the air box than the factory intake on the Tacoma as well so this is a really really nice product we've run over these snorkels before and they won't crack or break this is the the very best in the industry as far as suspension is uh, concerned on this vehicle we run an ome old man emu bp51 suspension system with a set of dobinson's upper control arms um, the uh, bp51s are an internal bypass suspension uh, with adjustable uh, compression and rebound and so we can firm up our suspension we can um, we can soften the suspension so for different types of wheeling if we have a lot of weight in the back or pulling a trailer we can firm it up so it's not as bouncy in the rear for low speed crawling you can adjust that and of course for high speed for high speed driving you could adjust the bps to perform better and faster we don't do a lot of high speed stuff with the camper on but the B, but the suspension allows you to be pretty versatile uh, aev crest tone wheels that's a dual sport wheel from aev so it has a protection ring around the outside um, that we can replace if if these get damaged or, scr or scratched up and you wanted to make that look better again you could replace that ring or they have a standard fit kit just to fill those threaded holes in the wheels or you can actually turn this into a beadlock and of course you see our power brake six piston red calipers uh, with bigger rotors uh, that's a huge upgrade um, for this truck especially with how heavy this vehicle is with the bumpers winches sliders uh, skids camper onboard water all this stuff stuff adds up and, and weighs a lot well now we have a beefed up uh, braking system to be able to handle that extra weight and still make the vehicle drive better so better suspension better brakes all that kind of stuff all right and i'll take you around and i'll show you the canopy camper which uh, this is our one of our best selling products here we love the canopy campers this is a great solution for customers not looking to get into a big slide-in camper still want to be pretty versatile with their vehicle where you still want to wheel on the weekends set up camp really fast still be able to use the inside of your truck if you want to this is this is a great setup for that so this is a short bed tacoma so this is our five foot bed canopy camper um you can see that actually it's tough to see with the goose gear system in but underneath this goose gear and uh, behind these uh, utility um, um, utility cabinets from from Goose Gear is just the bed of your truck, and so a lot of customers will go ahead and just like leave this empty, and leave it for work and to throw stuff during the week, and then on the weekends throw in their camping stuff like a fridge or or maybe it's like different um, storage boxes. We've got it set up to show a lot of cool stuff. So Goose Gear is a great company we work with. So you can see our base plate and the new um, utility cabinets available from from Goose Gear. And these are a lot slimmer than before. We're not running a drawer module. And so we really like this setup. You can put a lot of gear inside here if you wanted to, uh, but you have a lot of space in the canopy camper. So I think the best part of a canopy camper is that you have a blank canvas and you can build these out however you want. And a lot of customers really like that they can, you know, build this over the course of a couple of years or take on, you know, have us install it and they build it out. One of the uh, unique aspects of the canopy camper you'll see right away is that it has a full rear door instead of just a hatch and a tailgate. And the benefit of that is that it keeps out water and dust a lot better than your tailgate, factory tailgate will do. And so it's a hybrid because you are still using your bed and it's still clamping down like a canopy would or just like a cap would, but you are replacing the back here with a fit kit that comes with the canopy camper and this rear door, okay? And, and again, the big benefit behind that is number one, you can mount a bunch of stuff here. So 
I actually hear all the time from customers, oh, I lose my tailgate. Well, there's now a lot of options to be able to still reuse this store with tables and slide out stoves, just like you would your tailgate, but with the benefit of keeping all that dust and that water out that factory tailgates don't do that well with, right? Um, so we have molly panels and tables and stove attachments. You have standard lighting with your canopy campers. So that's pretty cool. Up front, you can see the 13 gallon Alucab canopy camper specific water tank. Um, that's 13 gallons. Um, and you can hook that up to just a standard spigot in the rear of the vehicle or uh, like we, we do for a lot of customers we make a custom uh, water pump in an enclosed case and then we have attachments where you can run a hose and, and bring that out to the shower cube uh, and or to your kitchen outside and be able to use that water and that'll actually last you a long time you know if you have a the appropriate pump and all that uh, to be able to run water from that from that tank so that's a new feature. We also have our ARB fridge, which you can run any, virtually any fridge back here if you wanted to. This just works well. The 047 quart works really well with uh, with our goose gear setup back here. Um, and, uh, and you know, for helping us on trips and stuff, bring in, you know, bring, uh, you know, food that we wouldn't traditionally bring with a cooler. Of course, for customers that are uh, not having, like for example, we have our kids in the back. So if you don't have kids uh, or are running passengers in the rear of the, in the back seat of the vehicle, you could always mount a goose gear system back there or put a, put a fridge in the back of the vehicle and then open up this space for storage. Up above us, you see the um, shadow awning from Alucab. Uh, this is one of our best selling uh, accessories, the 270 degree awning. Yeah, it doesn't require any legs to be down. Uh, for it to support itself, it's got a massive hinge system in here in the rear, um, and it just, you know, opens up probably within 15, 20 seconds probably, and it closes up just as fast. It's a luminized fabric too, so it reflects all that sun off, and so you can feel a noticeable temperature difference um, when you're in the sun uh, in the summertime, and then underneath here, which is really cool. And then there's uh, an enclosed room attachments too, so you can do awning rooms. Uh, they have built-in guy ropes too. You do have a leg here that comes standard. These two additional legs here are for the added enclosed room to help support that weight of, of that added room to this awning. A few other things, you'll see a, a table that slides out from the cab over. Uh, that's probably one of the coolest uh, accessories Alicab has to offer because this just slides out. You use a table all the time when you're camping. Um, and um, you know you can set it up underneath your awning and when you're done you slide it right back the awning and table are things that you can use regardless of whether you're camping or not um, if you're just off the side of the trail for the day or you're out with, you know for a picnic or go to the beach for the day you can set all this stuff up real fast which is cool a couple other things here you see the um, side screens here available for the uh, canopy campers um, that's really cool come summertime we have a rear screen for the rear door too this helps uh, keep bugs and stuff out um, in the um, in the warmer months and allows you to you know keep it temperatures cool in there especially if you're uh, if you're sleeping little kids down below there's a sleeping platform available for that platform and so that would allow you to keep temps cooler down low um, if you follow me around here onto this side the last thing we have here is our shower cube which we have being held down by a couple of shackles but this is a privacy room that you can use for uh, for a shower, for a restroom, uh, to get changed. This is actually really, really helpful if you're out there with a the family. Uh, it gives you some privacy if you are gonna have other campers and stuff around you. This bolts directly to the side of the canopy camper uh, and works just as easy uh, as the shadow on it. Uh, so that's pretty neat too. Um, the canopy camper has a really large platform, sleeping platform, it's bigger than the um, Gen 3 and Gen 3.1 platform for the rooftop tent. Plenty of space for two adults and, and even two kids or, or a child. Um, lots of space up there, lot, you know, big, large side windows and rear window as well with a rain fly. You do get into that camper from, from the back, from the rear door, which is cool too. Um, and last couple things here, we've got uh, LFD rock sliders on the, on the truck. This is new for us. And we've been selling a bunch of these, a uh, bunch of these sliders, uh, DOM bolt-on sliders uh, with a kickout and a top plate, which is great because we still use that as a step. This is still somewhat of a family vehicle. And we have families that that rent uh, that rent this truck from us. So, um, if you want to check this out, feel free to come check it out in person. Um, we we love that this gives customers an opportunity to see things uh, in person. Um, see the camper check that out if you're interested we always have canopy campers there's a bunch around us right now um, and and of course all the different accessories from from arb and lfd 
um, different suspension systems, all this kind of stuff. So we're excited for all the new accessories we still have coming for this vehicle. Um, we, we get to work on so many Tacomas and we learn a lot about them and get to share that with our customers and help improve their experiences. Uh, so give us a shout if you have any questions and we appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to subscribe uh, to Asheville Vehicle Outfitters and uh, stay tuned for more cool stuff. Thank you.